Hello again and welcome to the show. As always, I'm Jason McNeil and this is Cup of Joe Canada. According to the Canadian press, Bill Blair is currently in talks about closing a loophole in the Safe Third Country Agreement with the U.S. to stop migrants from crossing the border from the U.S. to Canada to claim refugee status. Uh, the reason that I feel this is important to talk about is because I feel like it has been very much the liberal narrative so far of the, of the government that there is no problem, it's not an issue. Certainly it's not Justin Trudeau's fault or anything to do with Justin Trudeau's tweets or anything to do with Justin Trudeau's rhetoric, but it's not even really a big deal, right? That's sort of been the, the stand. Now, what is going to happen or what he's talking about, what he's discussing, according to the Canadian press, is closing the loophole that says if you cross at an irregular place, right, then you can't be turned away. You have to be taken in. So basically, if you, if you go to a port of entry from the U.S. to Canada and say, I want to come into Canada and claim refugee status, because we consider the U.S. to be an ally and a safe country, we don't allow that and we turn you around and we send you to the, back into the U.S. to claim refugee status there. But if you cross at an illegal or irregular port of entry and we find you, we arrest you, we take you in, now you, you know, you're going to get processed here, which means you get uh, Med Med Medicare, you're going to get welfare, you're going to get all that stuff, you can get a, uh, what is it, a general jobs visa so you can work in Canada. You're going to get all these things because, you know, essentially you just, you snuck in in an illegal way. So the loophole closing would come down to, we could say, declare the entire border a port of entry, which means if you're crossing, it doesn't matter where you crossed, you came from America, so we send you back to America, we'll turn you over to American authorities and, you know, that would prevent the, what is it, 40,000 people, 40,000 immigrants who have crossed the border from America claiming refugee status from America into Canada to claim refugee status here in the last like year and a half. Now the reason I find this extremely interesting is because almost two years ago to the day, this is the exact plan that Bernier was putting forward for the Conservative Party, right? Back when we were talking about how the conservatives are xenophobes and they're racist and this whole migrant thing, they're just, it's just a thing that they're trying to make hay out of and all that stuff, there's no issue. He was actually you know, removed from the party for making too much noise. He had the milk issue and he had the immigration issue and these were problems. So now Bernier was removed from the conservative party because he was xenophobic or he was perceived as xenophobic. Two years later, we have another election coming up and the liberals are talking about doing the exact thing because it's not xenophobic, it's not racist, it's maybe sensible, maybe overkill, a serious conversation that we should have in a nuanced way. And I feel like it's all going to get missed. Bill Blair is talking about it. If Bill Blair does it, no one's going to be upset about it. And it's going to just be like, oh, look, they solved the problem that they kind of created. And let's sit for two years and then solved when it was convenient with a method they called xenophobic two years ago. I don't know. To me, it kind of agitates me. I feel like the whole thing is just being used for political hay and I don't like it. That's my take on it. At the same time, glad he's talking about it because I think it is an issue. It's, you know, it's not a crisis or an emergency. We're not all going to die because of immigration, but it's something that is happening that shouldn't be happening and we need to, you know, stop. We need to put a, get a, get a, a leash on it, get it under control. So I'm glad about that, but I think we're all being taken for a ride. That's my take on it. Uh, Cup of Joe Canada, like I said, it's Jason McNeil. I'd love to know what you guys think. Smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and feel free to leave a comment. Join the conversation.